there's a mantra for tying the rakhi. And it is a, a mantra spoken by Bali Maharaj. Because Lord Vamandev stole the whole universe from him. But then he said, I want to give you a benediction. He said, oh, give me the benediction that you uh, guard my door in the Sutta of Lanji system. So this was a very good benediction because it means that Lord Vamandev will have to come and live with him forever. Uh, or at least as long as the Sutta of Lanji system will be there. So, in this way, though Lord Vamandev bound up Bali Maharaj, but Bali Maharaj bound up Lord Vamandev to be his protector. So this is a signification. Rakhi means uh, Raksha. Who will, Raksha who will give you protection. So on this day in India, on this Raksha Punwin, especially all sisters, they go to their brothers and they tie the Rakhi on their arm for protection. And in our Paramatic community, that is in the transcendental community, who is from whom we want protection in our spiritual life, then we tie a Rakhi. And then, that's all. Please protect me in my spiritual life that I can progress and be saved from myself and all other obstacles. <laughs> so, this day, Raksha Punima, in Braja, the mm, rainy season is going on. And on this day, all the brothers, they go to their sister's house. When the girl is married, she leaves her father's home and goes to live with the in-laws. So before that, the young girl didn't go out of the house and wander here and there. And even she may be married to someone she didn't meet or did not know. So it's very, very emotional for the young girl who's just married to go and live with another family somewhere that she doesn't know. So just in... Just after that, after she's been married, then a little later in the year, then this day will come. And this is the day when she's looking forward, that her brother will come and pick her up and bring her on a palanquin or a bullock cart or something and bring her back to the mother's house. And uh, there she'll stay for a month. Uh, and at that time, it's very beautiful. Why? Because she was growing up in her mother's house and in the village and all her school, her friends, her childhood friends are there. They've been married to different boys in different places. Now all those young girls who grow up together, they come back to their home and they get to meet. And during that time, they have a very relaxing pastime. They make a julen, a swing, from a kadamba tree. There are two types of trees in Vrindavan, which are very important. Tamal, which is dark like Krishna and kadamba, which is fair like Radhika. So of these two, the Kadamba tree is for making the Julan, because it's much stronger than the Tamal tree. This also has significance. <laughs> so then the girls, they come, they return to their mother's home and father's home, and they meet with all their childhood friends, and they sit together on the swings and they swing. And it's the rainy season, so they sing in Malharag. Yesterday I sang in Malharag. I didn't speak about it, but yesterday I sang in Malharag, because this rag makes the rain. But not like a, not the downpour of rain, but fine mists. Uh, very fine mist, very beautiful. And all the gopis, they wear very beautiful fine cloth. And when the fine mist touches their white cloth, then it becomes a bit transparent. And their beauty begins to peep out. And they look very, very attractive. And at that time, Krishna, when Radharani is in Yavat, then her mother-in-law... And her husband and sister-in-law, they're always spying on her. What are you doing? What are you doing? Everyone is suspicious. She has no freedom. But when she goes back to Varsana, no one's spying on her. She feels very carefree and very happy. So it's very easy for her to go out into the forest and up to the hill. You know, Varsana is a hill. So people think that Radrani lives in the palace on the top of the hill. Radrani's the actual, the Vrishabhana Maharaj's palace is the bottom of the hill. And on the top of the hill is a forest and a beautiful Sri Kunj. So Radhika will go there, or Krishna will go there and wait at the swing for Radhika to come. But then when she comes, then she's in Man and she doesn't want to go to the swing. And her Sakis are all telling her that Radhi Jula Napadaro Juki Ayeva Dara Aisi Manahi Kiji 
Ali. Oh my Saki, please give up your man. Because now everything is perfect. Oh Vrindavan is green. The very fine mist has come. And your beloved Krishna is waiting to, for you at the swing. Now is not the time to be upset. Come on, come on. And we sing the song. Hey, so Sila Raghunath Das Goswami says, Brata go yutam atta manju badane. That on this day, it was morning time, and Radran is in Yavat, and she doesn't like it in Yavat. She thinks that my home is in the forest with Krishna. My home is in the jungle. Hmm? And uh, my uh, that is my real home. But where I am staying in the Jutila's house, this is like a jungle because it's full of ferocious animals like Abhimanyu and Kutila and Jutila. So I want to go and meet with Krishna. So she's thinking, this is the day my brother should come. And she saw all the brothers of Lalita and Vishak and others, they were coming and taking them back to their childhood villages. But Radhika, no one came for Radhika. And she was heartbroken. Then finally, after many hours, then riding on a horse, and also bringing a bullet cart, and with 10,000 cows, Sridham arrived. <laughs> and Radharani, with tears in her eyes, she came down, and... and she was so happy to see him, but she was also upset that he was late. He said, oh, I thought that you'd forgotten me. Did you forget me? Why did you come so late? And then Sridham said to Jutila, I have come to take Radhika. Jutila said, but she has so many duties to do here in the home. And then Sridham said, I have bought a gift of the 10,000 cows for you. Then Jutila said, oh, Radhika, you can go. <laughs> So then Sridham got on his horse and Radhika got on her bullet cart with Rupa Manjari, Rati Manjari. And with a nice procession, they came back to Varsana. They're in Varsana, Vrishabhanu Maharaj. And the Kiritrani, they're waiting for her. And Radhika comes down from the bullet cart and gives pranam. And then Vrishabhanu Maharaj and Kiritrani are embracing her. And Radhika is crying. Hot and cold tears. Raghunath Daskaswami said, When will I be there as Rati Manjari and see Radhika in the arms of her mother and father and weeping hot and cold tears? Why? Tears of joy are, are cold and tears of uh, sorrow are hot. So she, when she is embraced by her mother and father and back in Varsana, she has hot tears. Ah, my childhood is over and it will never come back. And I'll never live with my parents here again. This is, I have gone to the, another phase in my life and that happiness is gone forever. Now I'm in the state of anxiety and suspicion and everyone is watching me, everything is difficult. My childhood will never come back and the hot tears are coming. And cold tears, oh, I came back to my Vrishwabhanu Baba and Kiratrani and to Varsana. Varsana, Varsa means Rain and na means ananda. Where ananda is raining from the sky, and very easily I will be able to meet with my beloved Krishna in the Sri Kunj and in the hills of Varsana here. So this is the meaning of <laughs> Rakshabandhan Day. What's the mantra should buy? Huh? What's the mantra should do it? No, I don't. <laughs> send an email and I'll send it to you. When I'll remember tomorrow. It's a... Bali Maharaj said, just as you have bound me, now I'm binding you. To Lord Valentine. Pranaya Rasanaya Dutanmri Padma Sahabhavati Bhagavat Pradhan Upta. The Bhagavat Pradhan, chief of the Vaishnavas, they bind up Krishna with the rope of love. So this binding is to bind Krishna. First we try by our service to bind our Gurudev. And if Gurudev's heart, Gurudev, we have attachment for Gurudev. And then Gurudev also becomes very possessive to that disciple. Then Krishna's mercy will come for sure. Like Srila Nartam Das Thakur said in his, uh, in his prayer, Karuna Koro Vaishnava Gosai. So in the last line he says, Narutama 
Apanara Boli. Oh, Vaishnav Thakur, please call me your own. So when a Vaishnav says, you are mine, this is, then it's all over. Krishna Master will come for you. So we will, this is the meaning of Bhaiman.